Okay, uh, you're going to have to suffer this. This is uh, my Mark II. As you're well aware, I've just put a new battery in this camera and uh, want to test it out. So you're going to have to uh, bear with, bear with. Look up Miranda if you don't know what that means. There's a lot more work to do on this baby. But I just want to show you some stuff. Steering wheel there ready. That uh, in reality is not going to be the one that I use to move it around. But it will be one that I'm uh, refurbishing and painting. My son sent me that. I do have another steering wheel. Um, but that will be doing other duties as you know that's the steering column over there and you may wonder why I have this here all right so I can sit my fat ass down and to deal with this I'm halfway through it got a bit more to go oh I hope I got the big ass grommet to go in that hole if not I'll have to get it Wow. Okay, let's... I'm sorry, I, I, I love looking at this and I know that's not necessarily what you guys want to see. But you're going to have to bear with me. There is the, uh, the flap there. Now there are... There's a gasket that goes down in there, which you can't see, I know, because it's too dark. And there's also a gasket that goes around here, but I do have to get the various pieces in place. There's a lot of pieces that go in here, and uh, that's going to be fun. One of the, um, what shall I say, statements that was made by various people online that said, Gary, whatever you do, put the windscreen wiper motor in first. And I will heed that. Um, once I have finished being a silly ass and putting on some bling, i.e. the rear lights, I'll then get on to putting in the wiper motor. And I hope, oh dear, I hope I have the mounts. I don't know. All right. Uh, Let's step back to the wheels. The wheels that I'm going to put on this are bigger than will fit in the spare wheel well. For that, I'm going to use uh, the best wheel I can find, a curly hub. I'm going to get it sandblasted and powder coated in as bright as they can make it. And I will then get the cheapest ass tire I can find to go in the spare wheel area my plan is <laughs> best laid plans of mice and men is to put on red line tires on this there is one that is a dual red line i'm not sure exactly where i can get them from i believe it is coca but we will see i'll get them from wherever i can also, on the interior, I'm looking at two companies at the moment. So this is kind of a, what should we say, a preempt of what I'm going to do, which direction I'm going to leap in. There is BAS out in California, and there is a company in Mansi, Mansi, on the East Coast. I'm waiting for them to give me prices. It seems that the... Uh, interior companies don't want to give you numbers. Well, if you want me to decide which way I'm going to jump, give me some numbers. Not sure if you guys have experienced this kind of a problem, which is rather strange. You know, this is what I need. These are the bits I don't need. How much is it going to cost? And also, if you uh, re-upholster the seats for me, in other words, they do the labor to 
um, put the seats together, which I will send them, how much is it going to cost? I mean, obviously the interior cost doesn't change because I bought the interior, I've bought the foams, but once I've done that, how much labour are you going to charge me to put it together? Now, I can do it. I know I can do it, but can I do it as good as them? No, probably not. But if they want four or five thousand dollars, they can go forth and multiply. I can do it. I can do it fucking good. But uh, I, I'm not going to pay a fortune for it, but I don't mind paying a sensible price. Let me, for argument's sake, say, if you will put my seats together, you're going to charge me, a, well, let's say, $1,000 in labour. Then i got to go, hmm, $1,000 in labour. Should I do it? Then I have to think about it and decide. So we'll see. I'm still waiting for them to actually come back to me with a price. I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, but they have to make their mind up soon, purely because I plan on going to California to BAS in January. <sighs> Good God, why does there always have to be a noise when I'm recording? And if they don't come back to me with a sensible price, then guess what? I'm going elsewhere. Wow, here we are inside my baby. And this is the original colour here. Pretty shitty. Uh, got a few minor things to do in here. Uh, I'm going to clean this up. As you can see, I've started over here. I'm going to give that some more attention yet. And over here. Sorry, just trying to get the camera at the right angle. A few things in here that need kind of digging out. You know, that kind of crap there, I'm going to dig that out. And then give this a light uh, sanding, wire brushing, whatever I need to do. Here there is, a, or should be, aha, you see, look. There's a rivet head there and there's a bit of a rivet there. That should be attached. I'm not sure which side it goes. Uh, looking at this, there is no choice. It only goes on the underside. I don't know what it does. There is a rivet there too. I think I will replace that rivet. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Uh, and a nut on here. Not quite sure what that does either. Oh geez, so long since I took this car apart. Uh, it's going to be a learning process for me and for you guys too. You can uh, watch as I make a complete ass of myself. So, uh, what should we do first? Hmm. Do you know what? I think I want to deal with these rivets. Do I really want to? Yes, no. Is the answer. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Oh, there's the flap there. Yes, it's got a feeling that might be something to do with it. <laughs> oh dear. Isn't it amazing the shit you forget? But yes, that was broken. This never used to move. That, that took me a lot of work to get that to free up. Also, all of these holes. And I run a tap through them. I said I'm not sure what that's for. I'm going to undo the nut, clean the thread up and put it back on. All right, let's uh, hmm. need something to drill this off. Yeah. And then when I put the paint on it, it'll cover this rivet up, but that doesn't matter. All right, let's uh, get myself a drill and some drill bits and a rivet gun and some wibbits. Okay, uh, I believe these are probably an eighth. So let me see, which is my eighth drill bit. I believe this baby is it. And I don't care. I'm sorry, you're probably not getting a good view, guys. Um, I don't care if I go too small because I can always go bigger. 
That's why my wife likes me. Can always go bigger. Now let's see here. Look at that. Perfect. Gosh. I'm going to give her a bit of a clean up before I uh, stick it back in. Okay, so we go that way. Now this is something you should never do. Hold a piece of metal in your hand and drill. And the reason is because if it catches, it whips round and slices your hand. Hmm, me thinks me may need to uh, get that on the bench and chop it out. All right, let's just get this other one done here. Woo! Hmm, that's not easy. I think I'm going to get a punch on that and punch that one out rather than drill it and end up fucking up the hole. Also, I'll chop this off. Give this a bit of a clean, and I'll be back. Now, this doesn't always work, but let's see if it does this time. Manual, manual, sorry, automatic center punch. Place it on the hole, I hope you can see this, and on the rivet, and there she was gone. Saves you drilling and screwing things up. So now, I'm clear there for the rivet. I've uh, done the same on this particular one. I gave it a quick cut off there to make it flat. Now all I need to do is brush this up. In fact, I may, yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty gonna, pretty gonna, damn it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna um, put this into my little rust converter once I've given it a quick wire, wire brush up. So be back.
Okay. Uh, just took my mask off. Um, as you can see, the, the um, wire brush decided to leap. Uh, I've still got plenty more to do here. I'm not going to bore you with watching me do it all. Um, just to show you, I'm, I'm just trying to clean this up a bit. I'm not going crazy with it. Um, and then I will give it a coat of the good old Pour 15 Red. Um, such as around here. This is merely to give it a little protection. I'm not after perfection here. I just want to protect it a little bit. A little, 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 little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to finish cleaning this all up now and then give it a coat of Pour 15. Uh, I may or may not film me doing that. I, I don't know if you would even find watching me paint in the least bit interesting, but uh, I've got a fair bit of cleaning up to do and I'll be using my little um, pile remover. <laughs> oh gosh, that's got to hurt. Um, <laughs> Sorry guys, not into that kind of shit. Oh dear, bad choice of words there, wasn't it? Eh? Kind of shit, you know what I mean. All right, um, I don't know, this is a very short video. Thought you might find it interesting. If you don't, terribly sorry. Um, but it is all part and parcel of getting the Mark II back together again. So uh, yeah, as I said, next thing uh, is be, I'm gonna paint this, I'm not gonna bore you with it. I've, I've decided right now as I as as I spoke, I'm not going to bore you with watching me put some paint on. I'll bring you back when I do something more interesting, such as putting on the rear lights. Um, I would be powder coating the parts today, but for some strange, unusual reason here in Arizona, it's actually been raining all day. I thought I was back in England. Yuck poo. All right, so hopefully tomorrow, which, oh, shit, it's Christmas Day. I'm uh, probably not going to be allowed to play with my toys tomorrow, although I would love to. Um, I'd probably have to be in the house and doing Christmassy things. I'd rather be out here. Look, it's red and it's green. That's Christmas, isn't it? So I'm doing my Christmas stuff, but just in the garage. Hmm. Bet I can't get away with that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, boys and girls, uh, get your damn ass out in that garage and do some shit, even if it is Christmas Day. To me, that's an ideal present. Not sure what you saw. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.